Welcome Woodblock Print collectors and enthusiasts. Today I'm going to do a deeper dive into not a single print, but a series of 100 prints. I'm talking about Kunichika's 1893 series, the 100 rolls of Baiko, or Baiko Hyakushu no Uchi. Kunichika is one of my favorite woodblock print artists and created thousands of prints from the early 1860s to the time of his death in 1900. Kunichika was well known for his love of uh, sake, women, and the theater. And most of his prints were prints of kabuki actors and performances, or as the uh, genre is called, yakusha-e. Back in 1893, Kunichika was commissioned by a publisher and a printer to do a series of 100 prints focused on the roles of one of the most famous actors of the Meiji era. Onoe Kikugoro V. His stage name was Baiko. And you can think of these prints as being similar to our modern movie posters, like uh, these Bruce Willis movies. So who was this Baiko? He was the son of an actor and theater owner. And during this time in Japan, Kabuki had become a popular art form and actors like Baiko were big celebrities. If we look at the salaries of the time around the 1880s, a teacher would make about 60 yen a year, a policeman about 80 yen, but the popular kabuki stars could make up to 1,500 yen a year. So that's $800,000 in today's money. He was the foremost actor of domestic dramas or sewa mono, and also one of the pioneers of zangiri mono or cropped hair plays. And they were called that because of the fashionable short western style haircuts the actors used to wear. Kunichika the artist and Baiko were friends, often hanging out together backstage, chatting and drinking tea. So let's dive into this print from the series. What do we see? It's a vertical print called Oban. If we start from the top left, we see the description of the role Baiko's playing and the play name. Next to that is a small image of a supporting actor in the play. To the right of that in the black rectangle is the series title, 100 Rolls of Baiko. The main area of the print is our star Baiko in a one half length portrait. On the left border, we see the number of the print the address of the printer and publisher, along with the publication date, and at the bottom left, the publisher's red seal. On the right side, we see the carver's name and Kunichika's signature. All the prints in this series follow a similar convention, so they are easy to recognize. And this series also uses special printing techniques like blind embossing, metallic inks, and mica powder. Here's some other aspects I find noteworthy about this series. The title of the role and the play looks like it's been handwritten or brushed on top of the paper as opposed to being printed. I like this light pink color that's been added to the face makeup. The saturated color backgrounds on many of the prints really make the actor pop. Because the actor is so large in the frame, we get the chance to see some elaborate and bold kimono designs. And of course, the dynamic pose and expressions of Baiko at some climax point in the play really make the prints exciting. I'm not gonna go through all 100 prints, but I'd like to focus on some interesting types of roles that Baiko played so you can see his range and the way that Kunichika depicted him. Here, Baiko is in the role of a servant holding a lantern for her mistress. She and her mistress both died of an infectious fever, but their ghosts return every night to visit her former lover, Shin Saburo, who is in the upper inset. You can tell this is a ghost by the lack of color. Everything is gray and this floating red-orange ghost flame, which symbolizes the soul or spirit. Here we see Baiko in the role of Shinigami, the god of death, 
Look at the wonderful subtle gradations in the black background. And again, we have that spirit flame. Since women aren't allowed to act in kabuki plays, Baiko also played women's roles. Here we see him as Benten Kozo Kikunosuke, who was a rebellious kid from a wealthy family who joined a group of thieves. He was often disguised as a woman. On this print, you can see the embossing on the borders of his, her kimono and the arm with a bit of a tattoo showing. Here in this print, he plays the demon hag of the Moors, Adachi Gahara. There are lots of stories around this cannibalistic old woman or demon that likes to kill children. Here, I believe he's playing a courtesan named Shinobu. In this print, Baiko is in the role of Dojen. He is an evil masseur who stops to help a man in pain, and then he realizes that the man has money under his kimono, so he murders him. Later in the play, there's blackmail, the slave trade, and kidnapping, and eventually he's caught by the police. In this image, Baiko plays one of the 47 samurai who ends up committing seppuku because he is torn between either disgracing his family or disgracing himself by not fulfilling his pledge of revenge. In this interesting print, Baiko plays the Englishman Percival Spencer, who caused a sensation in Japan in 1890 with his solo balloon ride over Ueno Park. In this print, Baiko plays a pro-government soldier, Shinohara Kunimoto, in a play about the 1877 Satsuma Rebellion. Apparently during the play, they used fireworks to simulate explosions, and it was a great success. And in this print, Baiko is playing a real historical soldier who volunteered to sneak past enemy lines and get help. He's swimming through a moat strung with ropes of warning bells. However, he was captured by the enemy on his return and ordered to shout to his fellow soldiers that no help was coming. But instead, he shouted encouragement and then they crucified him. So that was only 10 prints out of the 100. The Baiko series is really a fantastic accomplishment and no other artist I know did a 100 print series of a Kabuki actor. Kunichika, in fact, did two 100 print series. This one and one of 100 prints of another famous actor, Ichikawa Danjuro. I think these prints are very collectible. You can find original Baiko prints in good condition for just two to three hundred dollars. We have about 60 of this series in our gallery. I hope you enjoyed this deep dive and happy collecting.